Alright, what's up guys, my name is Bucket Ponds, and today, in honor of one of my most popular videos, I am going to show you uh, the feeding process for my nano aquariums. This is Nano Aquarium Cucumber Feeding Frenzy. Now, I prefer to feed them cucumbers, um, specifically slightly overripe cucumbers, because the flatter snails really tear it up, and the detritus worms and my ostracons, pretty much every creature that I keep as a pet, loves uh, cucumber. They adore this stuff. Now, for this tank, I should probably do a half a slice, just because they haven't been fed cucumbers too much. And I don't want to overload the system here with too much cucumber. Which may or may not be possible, I don't really know. So I'm going to add this piece to that one, and a larger piece to this one. Now when I feed cucumbers, I like to use my forceps, my long uh, tweezers basically. Um, I like to use these because I can get it down in the water. If you have, if you just throw a cucumber on top, and it sits there, a lot of different things are going to happen. And it can potentially rot. But what I've learned from these little aquariums is if you go down in the water, just enough to uh, get it under some plants and things. Like right there is pretty good. Right, and this one's a little easier to see because it is clear. I mean, they're both clear, but this one has a lot of moss in it. This one is much cleaner. And we're just going to add a cucumber here. And let's see, how can we get it to stay down? Maybe up under here, something like that. Just something to keep it from floating too much. There we go. That's beautiful. Alright. Now, panning to the side. We have a few more nano aquariums. Let's turn up our exposure so y'all can actually see these nano aquariums. There we go. This one has a little bit of toxic blue-green algae in the background, um, but I don't worry about it too much. There's a chance that that algae might not even be toxic, but I have a large number of limpet snails and things in here, and they really love the cucumber. So let's just give them a bite. As you can see, that's quite a bit more cucumber than I gave to these two aquariums, but this tank has um, shown me that it can process cucumbers pretty quickly. So we'll let that sit. Our next nano aquarium, this one here, I was going to make an ecosphere out of it, but I just didn't want to have all this stuff locked away permanently. So for this particular one, I've got to fight it a little bit to get it open. Uh, like I said, this was going to be an ecosphere, but I ended up just uh, keeping it as an open style tank. But I do keep an uh, airtight lid on it. The creatures inside do fine. nothing suffocating or anything like that as you can see there's a lot of uh, plants in here um some macro algae and some bladder wort and for this one i just stuffed a big old piece of cucumber down in there about a quarter inch thick all those green stringy things you see floating around that is a that is a mud midget florida mud midget that's a type of duckweed that's very rare in the aquarium hobby and uh, you're probably not going to see it elsewhere other than on my channel Alright, there's a good view of one of my limpet snails in the uh, small aquarium with the black lid. Um, you can see they have noticed uh, the cucumber. They're most likely picking up little particles of the cucumber in the water. Um, I don't think I can get much clearer as far as the focus goes. No. But you can see his little mouth parts working. And uh, he's a lot like a bladder snail. Just kind of flat and kind of small and kind of slow. Uh, honestly, they're probably not that closely related. I'm not sure what species of limpet snail this might be. Uh, but yeah, they are freshwater limpets, and uh, they also eat cucumbers. You can see he's definitely active, and he knows that there's food around. He's doing his little mouth thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll expect to see a bunch of them on that cucumber uh, by this time tomorrow. Alright, uh, yeah. So this is that small nano tank with the blue-green algae in the background. Uh, as you can tell, the limpet snails are pretty active in here. There's quite a few of them. And um, they do move slowly. Uh, but they are moving. They've noticed this food, and they are uh, congreg congregating, excuse me, they are gathering uh, near to this side of the tank. And um, we'll check back tomorrow and get the second part of this video. But for now, they're doing really well, and they're hungry, and they are slowly pursuing uh, that cucumber. You can see on a small scale it works fine. There's no reason I couldn't uh, increase the, the scale of this aquarium up until... Uh, whoa, what? What? Oh my god, what is that? What? In the... Uh, you guys, I didn't expect this. I have aquatic annelids in this aquarium. Who have also come out to uh, feed on the uh, cucumbers. That is an aquatic earthworm. And he is very active. Look at that, he came out to eat. Uh, guys, I didn't even know that they were in here. Um, this makes my day right here. 
All right, as you can see, this tank is doing great. Uh, the Ostracods have come out in force. That's them right there, those little specks crawling all around that cucumber. Ostracods eat cucumber too, and uh, they love it to death. There are also some case-carrying worms in here, but I haven't seen much of them lately. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little uh, shot of them at some point. I am struggling a little bit to film these aquariums. Um, I really need a small tripod just for these nano aquariums instead of propping my camera up on different items and all that stuff. So I think I will uh, invest some of the money that I made selling my algae uh, into buying a uh, small uh, tripod for these types of projects. Uh, so thank you to my first customer who purchased my algae and left me a good review. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you're literally supporting the channel. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please go on my Etsy shop and I don't know. Nah. But that's the best way to support the shop directly. Um, I thought about starting a Patreon, uh, but uh, honestly, I'm not that big yet. And I don't like just asking for money. You know, that seems kind of lame. So I'm not going to have a donation link or anything like that. But if you would like to support the channel, please go on to Bucket, Bucket Ponds Etsy shop. Etsy.com slash shop slash Bucket Ponds. And, uh, I don't know, buy some river rocks off me or something. That would uh, go a long way to support the channel, and you'd have a little piece of Bucket Ponds in your aquarium, too. You know, and just to clarify, the items in my Etsy shop, the hardscape, the marble stones, and all that stuff, they haven't been in my aquariums. Um, they're very clean. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, any of my creatures showing up in your tank or anything. Now, if you buy some of my Nutella algae, yes, you're going to have some hitchhikers. So I wouldn't throw that into an aquarium. Uh, but you could very easily buy some of my Nutella algae, throw it in one of these little containers like this, toss a cucumber in there, and have yourself a nano tank very much like mine. Let's get our macro lens and just get a little look at our ostracods. We know what they look like under the macro lens, but it's still fun to see them. There we go. Yep, so as expected, the ostracods are in there tearing up that cucumber right away. Um, they're some of the fastest moving uh, creatures in my aquariums because of the way they swim or fly through the water. And it makes sense that they're first to get there and first to chow down. The bladder snails are a little bit slower, and obviously the limpet snails are much slower. <laughs> but as you can see, these ostracods are very happy to have their uh, cucumber. They're in there chewing it up right now. Uh, most of them were raised on cucumbers and algae, and all these guys that you see here were born in my little aquarium. Um, they're very easy to raise once you understand them, and uh, they're fun to look at, right? With the macro lens, you can tell they have like a little zebra pattern. I don't know what particular species of ostracods these are. They are a wild caught from southern Georgia, and uh, yeah, they're very hardy, healthy little creatures. I haven't had any problems raising them once I learned about them and started this cucumber method. If you're having trouble raising ostracods, I would highly suggest um, some cucumbers. And you can see that's probably a water mite. There's a couple other creatures in here. There are uh, several different species in here, actually. And, uh, yeah, you know. This is Bucket Ponds. I work with a lot of wild creatures and wild samples. Now, just because this stuff has been in a jar for a year, um, it doesn't mean that these wild creatures have disappeared. You know, so there's still some wild creatures, and there are things that will uh, occasionally pop up that I've never seen. So that's kind of fun. But yeah, they're munching down on this uh, cucumber here. And I'm very happy about that. They seem pretty happy. <sighs> okay. All right, guys, here's the real action. Um, this is right between the two slices of cucumber that I added. Um, these are my, as of yet, unidentified small little creatures. Uh, uh, if you can help identify them, that would be wonderful. Uh, but yeah, here's the real action. They're traveling between the two slices of cucumber. These guys are very fast moving. Uh, they're very, they're voracious. Um, in my experience, anytime they find any kind of food, they are on it. I still don't know what they are, though. Uh, so, you know, some help while identifying them would be great. Um, as far as what they do, I think they'd make a great fry food for small fish. And they also break down waste, and obviously they eat cucumbers and probably plant matter and things like that in your aquarium. Let's go ahead and scroll over a little bit and see if we can't get a shot of them actually eating some cucumber. Yeah. So again, I don't know what these guys are, but I do know how to raise them and how to breed them. Um, I don't think they're harmful. They're not necessarily like a worm uh, because their little bodies are pretty solid. They seem more like some kind of insect or aquatic creature. So let's just... Uh, are quite numerous. They are all over the tank. And they are very active. Uh, I'd love to learn what they're called because they've become an important part of this aquarium and uh, an important part of my channel. So please, if you know what these guys are, if you can help identify them, that would be wonderful. They are obviously in their feeding frenzy mode right here. Um, this is not normal behavior. Uh, typically, you'll just see them kind of cruising around, you know, a few here and there, but when there's food, they come out in force. Yep, those are uh, water mites. This is my cylinder. Uh, so now we're back to one of my cylinder aquariums. Um, that's cucumber in the background with a uh, good-sized bladder snail eating his fill. Um, I had hoped that these little guys here would show interest in the uh, cucumber. 
These are water mites. And uh, there's uh, thousands of different species of water mites. They have different diets and behaviors. Uh, but mine definitely appear to be uh, plant eaters. They seem to be biting into the plant and uh, feeding on little drops of sap or something. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're definitely clung to the, clinging to the plants in all situations and ignoring my cucumbers. So, that's okay. At least we've learned that our water mites don't like cucumbers. Oh uh, yeah, guys, it looks like I might have spoke too soon. There is, in fact, one water mite. At least one water mite on the uh, cucumber here. And uh, I haven't seen him move, but they don't move very much. So, uh, I wouldn't be surprised about that. But yeah, there he is. Or she, or whatever. Um, if they will take cucumber, that will make my life so much better. I'll be able to breed up an army of these little mites. And uh, that's another dream of mine. I would also like to raise an army of uh, green hydra and um, some other small creatures, but that's not for this video. What's up, guys? It's the next morning. It's about eight hours later, and I'm back here at the two and a half gallon nano aquarium. And just look at all this life inside. Look at what's been stirred up by simply adding a couple slices of cucumber. All y'all, this here, all this. That's not some kind of particles or, or mullum or anything like that. That's pure detritus worms. Uh, too many to count. Easily thousands upon hundreds of thousands of them in here. Uh, I might be over-exaggerating a little bit. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the feeding frenzy of which I spoke. Uh, the worms have some very strange behaviors. I don't fully understand them. But they are very active when you feed them. This is, pro this is probably the, uh, I don't know, about the tenth time that I've fed this nano aquarium with cucumbers. I do it about once a week, uh, give or take. But as you can see, um, we've triggered a mass, we've triggered a, uh, a lot of activity. They love the cucumbers. And, uh, there you go. Let's just, let's just take a second to admire them and all this life inside. Wow. You won't see stuff like this anywhere else on YouTube, guys. Just here at Bucket Ponds, um, Detroit Swarm Feeding Frenzy. Nano tank, uh, feeding guides, all that stuff. Just look at them all. You know, you can you can say my channel is not very successful. I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, and all that. Uh, but I am personally gaining skill in raising these creatures, breeding them, and feeding them. You can see this, oh, you can see the snails are starting to do their up and down thing that they they like to do. That they go down, they eat some food, they come back up to the surface, they get a little air, and they go back down. I don't think that these uh, these snails actually have gills. I think they have no gills. I think it's just lungs. They are air-breathing snails, um, but they do have the ability to return to the surface, get some air, and go back under. And that's what they're doing now. They're diving down to the food, eating a bunch, going back up, getting some air, and coming back down. Yep, so everybody breeds with everybody. They are not shy about that, but they are clearly entering a feeding frenzy mode right now. I know compared to the number of snails you see, this might seem like a lot of cucumber here. Uh, but in reality, they will devour that, they will destroy it, and there's probably twice or two times... Uh, Two or three times as many snails as you see here on the cucumber, uh, actually in the aquarium. Um, they do, you'll see a few of them here and there. They do travel up to get air and come back down and eat like we were talking about. But uh, yeah, that's going really well. I'm curious about some of the other small creatures in this tank. And uh, I don't know why the worms are all bundled up on the surface like that. Uh, but that's definitely what they're doing. They react to sunlight in different ways. So this aquarium's doing really good. Alright guys, it's getting a little too bright to keep filming. Uh, these are all natural solar aquariums, I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, but anyway, I'm Bucket Ponds. This is my video for how to feed your nano aquariums. Um, if you do similar projects, or if you have a channel of your own, please uh, let me know. If you want to support my work, uh, you can get on my Etsy shop, which is etsy.com slash shop slash Bucket Ponds. And I have some things for sale in there. Uh, you can also find me on Pinterest, just at Bucket Ponds. I have some boards, you might like some of the pictures and things I upload. And uh, other than that, like and subscribe, share if you want to. I appreciate the love, guys. Thank you so much, and thanks for clicking on my video.